What is the WordPress 429 too many requests error? This HTTP status code indicates a user has sent too many requests in a short period of time. When the rate limit is exceeded, the server responds with a 429 status code, basically telling the browser to slow down. But seeing this error on your WordPress site can be frustrating. Fortunately, there are several effective solutions to fix this issue. So, in this video, I'll show you how to fix the 429 too many requests error in WordPress. Hey guys, it's James from gigapress.net. Let's start with the most common cause of this error. A misbehaving plugin is the number one cause of this 429 error. To identify and deactivate the problematic plugin, go to your WordPress dashboard. Navigate to Plugins, then Installed Plugins. Select all the plugins, then choose Deactivate from the Bulk Action menu, and Apply. Once all plugins are disabled, begin reactivating one by one until you find the one causing the problem. Each time you turn one back on, refresh your site to check if the error reappears. Once identified, consider looking for alternative plugins, updating to the latest version or contacting the plugin developer for help. If the problem isn't from a plugin, the next thing to check is your theme. Sometimes your theme might be making too many requests to the server. Switching to a default WordPress theme can help determine if this is the case. Go to Appearance in your WordPress dashboard, then select Themes. Activate the default theme, like 2025. After switching themes, check your site again. If the error disappears, the theme was the cause. From here, Reach out to the theme developer for help, check for updates, or consider switching to a different theme. Another effective fix is changing your WordPress login URL. Bots often target the default WordPress login page, sending a flood of requests that can trigger a 429 error. Changing it can reduce the number of unauthorized requests. To fix this, install the plugin WPS Hide Login. Go to Plugins, then select Add Plugin. Search for WPS Hide Login. Click Install Now and Activate. After activating it, go to Settings, go to General, and scroll to the bottom. You'll see a new WPS Hide Login section. In the Login URL field, enter your new login address. Then, in the Redirection URL field, Enter where your visitors should go if they try to access the default login pages, usually 404 or your home page. Scroll down and click Save Changes. The plugin will immediately update your login URL. Update your bookmarks and inform your team of the new URL. Next, check for mixed content issues, because insecure URLs can cause too many redirects and unnecessary requests. So. Make sure to check all resources on your site are loaded over HTTPS. You can use a free online tool, Why No Padlock, to scan your URL for mixed content issues, insecure requests, and SSL certificate problems. In the search box, type the full URL of the page you want to check. Click the Test Page. The tool will check your page and look for images loaded over HTTP instead of HTTPS, CSS or JavaScript files using insecure URLs, external scripts with insecure connections, and incorrect SSL setup. This is helpful because it tells you what to fix and where it's located. Then correct any insecure links or resources. Some plugins, especially those that interact with external services, might also exceed API request limits. To verify this, open and review the settings of plugins that make API requests. Then adjust the frequency or configure them to use caching. If you're still not sure what's causing the issue, you can enable WordPress debug mode to identify the root cause of the error. Use your FTP client or your web host's file manager. Then find the root directory, usually the public underscore HTML file, then open the wp-config.php file. Add the line define wpdebug true and check the debug logs for errors related to excessive requests. If the error appeared right after you installed a new plugin, changed a theme, or made major updates, consider restoring a backup to resolve the issue. You could do this with your hosting backup tool or by using a plugin like Updraft Plus. After installing Updraft Plus, go to its settings, 
configure your backup schedule, then go to the backup slash restore tab and restore a previous version of your site. This can instantly fix issues caused by recent changes. This ensures your website truly goes back to the exact state before the issue happened. Updraft Plus will now retrieve the backup files. Once files are ready, Updraft Plus will show a success message. The backup has finished running. To reduce unnecessary server requests going forward, install a caching plugin like W3 Total Cache or WP Super Cache. Caching helps browsers load saved versions of your pages, which means fewer requests hit your server, making it less likely for the 429 error to return. And if you've tried everything, but the error still appears, it's time to contact your hosting provider. Reach out to the support team, provide details about the error and the troubleshooting steps you've taken, and ask if they can adjust server settings or provide additional resources. And that's it! By following these steps, you can fix the WordPress 429 Too Many Requests error and get your site running smoothly again. Remember to keep your plugins optimized, your theme updated, and always monitor your site's performance to prevent errors from coming back. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress Masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.